welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl C. I know you're here you click that thumbnail because you're a new youtuber and you want to know how to get your first 100 subscribers I know you've been wondering how to do that I've been at that point in my YouTube journey and because I've been at that point I know that it's not easy and I would have loved it if I had some help or I did some more research and the first then I would like to say is kudos. It's really good that you have taken out time to actually do your research because that's the only way you found this video. So, but before we get into the video, I'd like you to click the subscribe button and let's go. So the first way to get your first 100 subscribers is through your family members and your friends. Although they might not get you to that 100 mark, but they might get you to 10 subscribers, 15 subscribers, 5 subscribers, depends. So the first thing is tell your family members and your friends about what you do. Be proud of what you do. We are, we've only come to this life once and all of us will die. So what are you so scared of? Why don't you want to let them know that you're on YouTube? They would support you and if they don't do your thing. But the first way or the best way to do it is by getting support from them, your family and friends because they already know you. So they would like to support you. Second tip to getting your first 100 subscribers is by working on your thumb thumbnails whatever content you put out there you need to take your time to ensure that your thumbnails are communicating what the video is about do not create thumbnails for clickbait no that is wrong make sure you create thumbnails that communicate what exactly you're talking about in the video something that is clean clear and hits the nail on the head of the topic you're trying to or what you're trying to achieve with that video ensure that your thumbnails are clear enough the text of your thumbnail is clear enough is bold enough take your time i just learned that and i'm working on my thumbnails and i can say that it has really worked for me so take your time work on the thumbnails and you will see how you grow the okay. next tip is to create quality content so i know that as you're starting you're confused what exactly do i want to do on my channel that would help me grow you need to create con quality content and when i say quality content i mean searchable content because you're at a point where nobody knows you nobody cares who you are except your family and your friends and how many exactly are they so nobody on youtube knows you if you want to get to a hundred views mark then you need to create something that you would search for look at your titles and say would i search for this before you talk about something make sure it's something that you like something that you're knowledgeable about and make sure that it is searchable so all the how to's how to content a searchable content so how to like this video how to grow your first hundred subscribers on youtube is searchable content how to create aesthetically pleasing instagram feed is searchable content how to grow on instagram searchable content how to make um a video how to edit videos searchable content you guys i'm already giving you ideas <laughs> make sure you take that down so searchable content that people would love to watch i'm sure that as you were sitting down you search how to grow my first hundred subscribers on youtube or how to get subscribers on youtube and you found this video so that's an example of how people are going to search for your content another way to get quality content is for you to look at similar youtube channels probably the ones that have grown and are doing really well on youtube so you look at and you go back to when they started and look at the videos that they did that helped them grow it will help you know the kind of videos that you can put out there that would get you ranked in search and that takes me to my next point you need or your titles need to be able to rank in search so one tool that can help you do this is to use tubebuddy so i use tubebuddy to search my content online search topics on tubebuddy or on youtube and it tells me the rank of that video in search so you need to look at the search volume compare the search volume and look at it um, how well we this do on my channel don't look at videos that are doing about 500k per month the search volume is 500k per month because that means that there's a lot of content on youtube about that particular thing so look at things that are closer to you maybe the 1000 100,000 search volume per month so people can easily find you or you can easily rank in search in those videos because you are new do you guys understand what i'm saying if you do please leave a comment in the comment section if you've watched this video up until this point please subscribe and support your girl yes guys uh, don't forget also in all your videos keep telling people to subscribe 
you can use different features different graphics to say subscribe on the screen like i'm doing right now so please subscribe guys to my channel build a community on youtube so look for youtubers that are just growing go to their youtube channels watch their videos and drop a comment now the type of comments that you should drop is not oh i'm a new youtuber you should definitely check out my channel i love your videos no what you should do is to actually watch the video and state something that you liked about the video or oh, i liked your hair in this video or i liked the way you said this 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 in this video i learned this 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 in this video this is going to help a lot because small youtubers don't get so much attention and when they see someone that gives them attention i can say that for a fact when i see someone that drops a comment on my channel that i find interesting and it grab, grips my attention i'm going to check the person's channel out and if i see what i like then i follow and that's the same thing that's going to happen for you if you drop comments on small youtubers um, comment section you watch the video actually write something that you learned rather than saying subscribe to my channel which is a very wrong way of growing subscribers on YouTube because then you just accumulate people that are not really interested in your content so rather drop a comment a nice comment according to what you've seen in the video what you've watched in the video half of them or most of them rather will check out your content and if they like what they see they would also watch your videos and subscribe to your channel so now I'm going to talk about click through rate so what is click through rate right like I said earlier your thumbnails need to be really good and this is what helps your click through rate reason why your thumbnail needs to be really good is so that your click through rates can be high so what this means is click through rate is the way people click on your videos to watch your content whether or not you have zero subscribers or 1 million subscribers immediately you post a video on YouTube YouTube recommends your videos to people that watch the kind of videos that you have made so if your thumbnails are clickable and unlikable people would click and watch your videos and then the more your click through rate increases on youtube the more people click on your videos or your thumbnails as the more your click through rate goes higher so the more people watch your videos the more youtube recommends your videos to other people because every social media platform must ensure that people stay on their platform and if people are watching your videos then it shows youtube that people are staying on their platform it encourages them to push your videos further to other recommended pages and it allows more people to see your videos and then you get more views you get more subscribers because the more views you get the better chances for you to get subscribers because somebody might just be really interested in one video then move to another video and then subscribe to your channel and channel and that brings me to my last point which is that you should create series Try to create series if you go to my channel you see that i have vlogs and my vlogs are called a taste of lagos so you can see that the vlogs i have weekly vlogs and these vlogs are series on my channel i have a video youtube 101 if you know what that video please click the link here or here to watch that video that is one series and this is a second part of the series do you guys understand what i'm saying so this helps you build binge worthy content so as someone is watching one video they see another video that is recommended to them or they see another video on your channel and then they click that video you can also create playlists so for instance i'm creating a playlist youtube growth tips so when people click any video under that playlist it recommends the next video to them under that playlist you guys understand what i'm saying so this helps you grow faster on YouTube and the more people watch those videos, they see that they're interested in your content, they watch the series, see that you, they like what they see and then they subscribe to your channel. There is no better way to grow on YouTube than to grow organically. You cannot and you should not buy subscribers, you should not buy views because it will not help your channel. As you grow or as you keep going, you see that your subscribers will drop or your views will drop on your channel and the views, you need views to grow on YouTube. You need people to stay on your channel, love your content, watch your videos. This is the last tip or a, an extra tip. You should concentrate on your audience. On growing your audience on what your audience would love to watch look at your previous videos or how they've done and create similar content if you have any videos that has done well so far create similar content. focus on your audience the audience you're trying to target what would they love what would I love to watch if I was this audience 
and create content based on that i hope that you guys have learned a thing or two in this video thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel also like this video and definitely drop a comment in the comment section love you guys so much kisses